Hello everyone, it's me, Matteo, and I welcome you back here in my little RC garage. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you this mini soldering iron from Secure. Here it says it's a smart electric soldering iron. Here on the back is a product description. It's made in high quality materials, have advanced features and it contains a microprocessor. A processor chip in a soldering iron? I never had something like this. But I'm a good test person, because I'm not good in soldering. This is the soldering tip. And this is the body with the controller inside and a small OLED display. This is the power cable. As you can see, it comes with an XT60 connector. A small holder with cleaning sponge is also included. These are a few spare screws and a tool. Stickers and the instruction manual is also included. The manual explains how the soldering iron can be connected to the computer via USB and thus some parameters can be changed. Also, a firmware update is possible. First, we have to install the iron tip and fix it with the screw. Then I can insert a power cable and fix it also. Here on the body are shown the possible voltages. It can be used with voltages from 12 to 24 volts, with a power supply or a LiPo battery with 3 to 6 cells. Here you can see how the voltage affects the power of the soldering iron. As more volts, it heating up faster and it have more power, up to 65 watts with 24 volts. I decided to use my LiPo batteries, so I'm independent from a power source and I can use it also on the field for necessary reparations. First I'm going to connect this Rias LiPo. And the screen starts. Now when I press the A button it heats up. As you can see, even with only 12 volts, the heating progress is pretty fast. Now the iron is ready to use. Let's see how it goes with a 6L LiPo with 22 volts. Wow, with this it's extremely fast. It is also possible to change the target temperature. When holding the A or B button at least for 2 seconds, it entering into the temperature adjustment mode. So I can raise or lower the temperature from 200 up to 400 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to solder a cable to a XT60 connector. First, I add a bit solder at the connector. Then I add the cable and heating it up. Add a bit more solder. And so it works. Looks good for me. But as I said in the beginning, I'm not a soldering pro. I'm sure many of you have a lot more experience with this. But the result looks good for me and I think this smart soldering iron from Secure is a good tool and helpful for not so experienced solderers. It's easy to get a good result. 
When pressing the two buttons simultaneously, the iron goes into standby mode. Well, the last question is how much power it consumes. I worked with it for about 15 minutes, soldering various things and the 2200 mAh battery still has 90% capacity. So it seems that the power consumption is quite moderate. But of course, we have to be careful not to discharge the LiPo battery too much. Check the link in the video description for more info and to get yours. Now I say thanks for watching. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.